Good evening and welcome to News of Bahrain. I'm Samia and these are today's headlines. Bahrain will continue boosting the precautionary measures to ensure the safety of all people in the battle against the coronavirus pandemic, said His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa as he received top government officials including Representatives Council Speaker Fauzia bint Abdullah Zainal and Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Saleh Al Saleh at Safriya Palace. He discussed with them the current health condition and the requirements of the forthcoming phase. As per the announcement by the Ministry of Health at Bahrain has recorded 268 active COVID-19 positive cases and out of which 266 are stable, two are in critical condition while four deaths have been registered. A total number of 295 cases have been treated and discharged. The total number of people who have been tested for the COVID-19 are 33,852. Private hospitals are now being granted license to provide medical care for active cases of COVID-19 for those who are asymptomatic and would like to be treated there. This was announced last night by the National Health Regulatory Authority and it comes in line with the directives of government's executive committee chaired by His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister. The Ministry of Health announced yesterday the arrival of fourth group of citizens from the Islamic Republic of Iran as part of the kingdom's evacuation plan for Bahraini stranded abroad. The Information and E-Government Authority, in collaboration with the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus, launched the Be Aware Bahrain application. The app is available to download free of charge on iOS and Android. The application complements efforts to mitigate the spread of coronavirus by advancing contact tracing efforts to swiftly identify and keep track of all active cases and their contacts. Civil Defense extinguished a fire that started in a carpentry workshop in Hamla and then three nearby shops with six vehicles and 18 firefighters. The incident happened today morning. No injuries reported. Initial details indicate that short circuit was the reason for the accident. Top commerce officials reassured the public that there are sufficient quantities of food commodities at regular prices. This came in a meeting between Industry, Commerce and Tourism Minister Zayed R. Al Zayani and Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry Food Wealth Committee Chairman Khaled Ali Al Khamin. The reviewed the latest developments of the local market with regards of the availability of basic food commodities and the control of that prices. Meanwhile, the Industry, Trade and Tourism Minister has straightened inspections in all areas of Bahrain to monitor food prices. The Ministry has called upon customers to immediately report any such complaints to their communication centre. A total of 332 people from various cleaning companies in Bahrain were trained in cleaning up operations over 44 courses. The Civil Defense General Administration Director General stated that this was part of the precautionary measures undertaken by the Kingdom to limit the spread of coronavirus. A 28-year-old Asian man was killed yesterday evening in a road accident on Sheikh Salman Road, the Ministry of Interior announced. The incident occurred near the Sahelia area on the lanes heading towards Manama. The deceased was later identified as Indian national Ahmad Haya Amud from Hyderabad. He leaves behind his family who are residing in Bahrain. The weather expected today in the Kingdom of Bahrain will be moderate with some clouds present. Thank you for watching News of Bahrain.